And this your boy, Money Bag Mafia. Young niggas, quit getting on social media with them choppers. The feds is watching you. Uh. Yeah, I gotta keep your head on the shriveled Let me hit the channel 85 out. Yeah. Trap news. Trap news. I said Primo Rice. I was in Spain listening to um, Primo Rice and Larry June Heavy. I don't know, it felt like it went with the. Come on out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll, nigga. Oh, uh, uh, hey. Uh, Put it out in like this. Here, here, here. Use this yeah, as an yeah, ashtray. Right. There you go. See what I'm saying? You <laughs> fucking up, man. You about to burn the set down. There we go. We lock loaded. All right. All right, take it down. Put it high. Welcome to uh... No, you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we rolling. Come on, sit Welcome down. Welcome to uh, <laughs> Trap News. Right. I am. Hold on. Sit down and just leave it right there. Welcome to Trap News. I'm Bree Renee. My mother's gay. <laughs> Y'all won't put my business out there. But you gonna have to rhyme too at some point. God damn, it's getting hard. I don't gotta rhyme. Mine already rhymed. Shit won't go out. If you sit down, it's out. Yeah, but that motherfucker stank. All right, boom. Put it in your little. All door. right. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, after this, we're gonna go get us some mashed taters. All right, we ready. Like. All right. Are these yours? Yep, damn sure. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, get, right. get yourself together. Write it. <laughs> Play play. No. We record. All right. Is this sure, please? Uh, no, it's not. Are you ready? Yeah. Are we rolling? Okay. Welcome back to the Trap and Trap News. I'm Brie Renee, straight from the A. And this your boy, Money Bag Mafia. Y'all niggas quit getting on social media with them choppers. The feds is watching you. You know? <laughs> And that is an important message. Yes. No, seriously, I, I, the fans is doing the sweep this year. I know they is. It's bad out here. We're going to get into it. But first, we got to get into these politics. Uh, you already know the presidential debate took place on September 10th at 9 p.m. It was between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Remember, we were talking about they was going to mute the mics. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, really, Kamala baited Donald Trump and seemed to frustrate him. Um, Trump claimed that Haitian immigrants were out here eating animals. They're eating the dogs, and they're eating the cats. Um, <laughs> Where's the line? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not lying. Uh, the... No, I love my Haitians, though. I love my Haitians, though. Oh, no. That's the tribe of Levi, man. I love y'all, man. I actually thought it was another um, race that did that. But anyways... You know what? <laughs> this might sound a little racist, but they should, they should send Chinese people... To, for that problem they got in New York. With them rats? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Because I like to go into certain Chinese restaurants and order freely, feeling like I'm I'm eating chicken. Now, if we do that and they and now oh, rats... Oh, you used to lying to yourself. You lie <laughs> to yourself all the time, huh? No. That shit be cat dog, man. The bourbon chicken? Man, no, listen, at least the kind that's not bready. Like, I, I need gonna, to see it. I ain't going to cap you, shout I had got some hibachi. I'm going to say the name from Hibachi Stop. On Delk Road. No, and uh, I put, Hibachi Stop is the wrong place you should why stop. Why you say Because it sounds like a gas station. Like, Hibachi Stop? It was at the gas station? No, it was in the plaza. <laughs> a quick trip? No. Okay. It was in the whole plaza. But when I got my food, I put the bag in my back seat. Bruh, it smelled like a goddamn kennel in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't bullshitting. It smelled like straight dog in that bitch. Yeah. And I never went back. I said, I can't go back. That's, I can't go back. It sounds about right. Yeah. Um, the dogs and the cats are upset. It's been like a whole like little trending thing on TikTok and everything. About Haitians eating dogs and shit. I seen that. Yeah, they going crazy. Yeah, but but anyway, why, why is this like a new thing on Haitians? What's going on? Like, it's, I mean, I guess because the president has never openly said something as blatantly racist as that. What the fuck they got to do with him being president? I, I don't know what they had to do with him being president. Man, get actually. off my Haitian, man. Sock pot say, man. Zo pound. Get my mom. Bop. Go ahead. <laughs> well, uh, moments after the debate ended, pop star Taylor Swift, she actually publicly endorsed Kamala Harris. She said, I'm voting for at Kamala Harris because she fights for the rights and, cause, and causes, I believe, need a warrior to champion them. That's what she said. 
And okay. she fights for the rights and causes, oh, and causes, it should be a comma, mm -hmm. and causes that I believe need a warrior to champion them. So, yeah. I mean, do we care who Taylor Swift is endorsing? That's not yes, going to make... Yes, we do. We don't. But well, I do. That's not going to make more of us, but I guess she's trying to show, get her crowd to vote for her. Yeah. Okay, we need all we can to rally up for, That's right. for Kamala. Rally up for the you, end of the world. You decided who you gonna vote for? Yes, Kanye West, I told you. Okay. If we run again, I'm voting for Kanye West. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not voting for nobody. Well, I want you to go to the polls and vote for Kanye West, even if you Only write it in. Only polls I go to is the flag. There you go, the okay. blue fucking flag. <laughs> it's a motherfucking flag. The only polls I want to see. Other than that, I'm good on that shit. Um, well, you guys know that early voting does start soon, so if you want to go ahead and head to the polls a little early, you can do so. And you can check, you know, dates and deadlines per your state online and make sure you are registered to vote. Are you registered to vote? Yes. No, I'm not. See, you need to get registered to vote. It's a deadline for that, too. Man, I'm a six-time convicted felon. I done, done played guilty six times. <laughs> it's over with for me. They're going to make decisions for me the rest of my Lie. I can't make that decision. Damn. Yeah. I, I ain't think tripping. we should. But that's why people like us that aren't convicted felons should vote for somebody who could possibly help turn it over because you are a productive citizen of society. You should have a say so. Oh, Regardless. Thank you. That's about the nicest thing you ever done said to me right yeah. now. You heard that? <laughs> Bree gave me a compliment, which don't, is very rare. I can't read, I'm stupid, all type of shit. Got stupid shit in Those things still stand. It's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna ride get shot when I come up out of here. Those things still stand, but you are. I feel like you should be able to vote. There's uh -huh. so many other people out there. So I still we would vote. gotta get out there and vote and go to, um, I think it's vote.gov to go ahead and make sure you register. Um, what else going on in politics? They got members of Congress. They hosted a forum to strengthen the economic ties between the U.S. and African and Caribbean nations, which is it sounds like could be a really good thing. It was hosted by U.S. reps Sheila. Come on, say their last name, twin. Sheila uh, Sherpless mm -hmm. McCormick. McCormick. <laughs> Jonathan Jackson, Troy Carter, Sydney. What's this one, twin? Camelager Dove. That was what I said. That looked like that's what it's. Camelager. Cam Lager. That is, see, that's why you read it. Cam Lager Dove. Cam Lager Dove. Cam Lager Dove. And Senator <laughs> Tim Kaine and all the Demo um, Democrats. The forum was titled The Rise of Global Africa, and it was forging a new U.S. economic partnership with Africa and the Caribbean, which I think we should do that. Like, we had our own little African dollars that were in the Caribbeans and over here. That would be lit. Because, you know what, I just love Spain, and it really showed me that nobody food is as good as, like, the Caribbean food. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Like, it's nowhere. I have trouble. It, okay, Mexican. Mexico. Mexico. That's about the same. It's the same it's, shit. It is. It is, really, though. All that little Aruba, Costa Rica, it's just Belize, a difference between that Caribbean shit, yes. Tony's and Adobe. Well, but they ain't got no curry something in it. It's some bullshit. For sure. Yeah. For uh, sure. I'll fucking eat curry cereal if I could. Like, curry <laughs> milk. Like, if they made curry milk, bro, i eat that shit, bro. That sounds curry disgusting. Curry water. Like, curry condoms. Put all this curry, like... <laughs> Curry like edible loose. The sheets gonna be yellow as fuck. <laughs> Your sheets gonna be stained. We don't like know. We don't go know. We ain't gonna know. Somebody sharted that we had a good time. We oh, don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be torn in between the two. Did you do doo in the back? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't even know where we go from here. Um, Jonathan Jackson said that 25% uh, of the world's population will be in Africa in the next 25 years. So the question becomes, how are we aligning ourselves to strategically Why work would we with be Africa? in Africa? Because why wouldn't we? Man, let's, let's cut the bullshit. I love African people and all that. Y'all okay. don't fuck with us, man. They, they do. Speak really? for yourself, because Nigerians love me. That's Nigerians. That's, you know how big Africa... I said Africa. <laughs> I didn't say that. I, I got some Ethiopian homegirls and Eritreans. What are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about them real ones. Them is real I'm ones. I'm talking about them ones with them head like them 1,800 tequila bottles. <laughs> <laughs> that's the why they don't fuck with like, you. That's why they don't fuck with 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 you. That's not true, bro. Because you talk too much shit. They got to... Because we... we uh, the niggas over here put in a lot of work for them over there. Like, you don't hear about that shit. We need y'all. Y'all need to start. They do. Man, y'all need to start showing some appreciation a little bit more now. That's all I'm saying. You don't hear nothing for real. 
We do a lot for for them over. We, we do a lot for a place. We ain't never even motherfucking been. So how the hell we do well? What the fuck you done did for Africa, nigga? I done did a lot for Africa. What you did? I done bought dashikis. <laughs> I buy I buy incense. <laughs> I eat fufu. <laughs> I just had fufu the other day. <laughs> I'm supporting it, you know. Why you playing? I fuck with I'm Ethiopian su- food heavy. Okay, but anyways, you need to learn your history. So I, I know my motherfucking history. We That's just gonna go and sit it over the smoke for a Christy re-listen. Set it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's that shit you just took <laughs> eating that curry and then try to fuck with it. Set it out. Man. Set it off. Set it off. Thank you, Money Bag and Brie, for bringing it over to me. Let's talk about it. You know, I, we got a whole different set right here, man. You got to love it, you know. Flowers. You know, I can buy myself flowers. Y'all ever heard that? Because you got to bring it back, baby. You hear me? My Cyrus was being sued over flowers. You know what I mean? Now, I'm going to let this be known. Bruno Mars is not a part of the lawsuit. But apparently, only the music businesses was. But I'm going to let y'all know this. I guess Miley Cyrus liked the flower song so much that she took it. <laughs> That's been happening a lot, you know what I'm saying? Because I can think of something to a whole lot older that happened, you know what I mean? We're white folks. And white folks, I got to let this know. I'm going I'm to get one of y'all best right here now, you hear me? I'm going to get one of y'all best. I ain't going to go with Barry Manilow or some stuff cards and say on the Fresh Prince. I'm going to go with Elvis. Elvis Presley. You know the songs. Don't be cruel. <laughs> Do a hard baby. Do a hard break true. Even today, it wasn't none of that shit here. If you like that, bring it back. You feel me? All them songs y'all had. What's that other dude, Jerry Lee Lewis? Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I was looking at that like that white man got some soul. And he did have some soul. Some soul stealing in his ass. But he stole it. He stole the shit back. Shout out to Otis Blackwell. That's the man that made most of those Elvis songs. You know what I mean? I got to get props to him where they deserve that. Because they end up saying, well, oh, you know, Otis, he wrote for Elvis. Well, shit, who the fuck was going to tell Elvis? <laughs> Like he took it. <laughs> Shout out to Otis Blackwell, man. Now, we're going to go to another serious note right now. Um, Tulsa, Oklahoma. A lot of people may know about Tulsa, but we're going to educate everybody to make sure we all know. There are two surviving members, Viola Ford Fletcher and Miss Leslie Benningfield. I love both of y'all. We all love y'all. Just the fact that y'all are the surviving members says a lot, because Tulsa, Oklahoma, that happened in... 1921 with the race riots. But um, if you don't know what happened, what happened was there was a black man who went down the street to use the bathroom. And when he used the bathroom, upstairs, he went upstairs to use the bathroom. And came down in the elevator. When he came down in the elevator, maybe the elevator stopped it abruptly, bumped into a white lady. Got, that's what always a got the white bitch. There's always a white bitch. Why the fuck? I ain't never seen. <laughs> I ain't never, this shit don't happen over white, it happen over white bitch every time. Like, how do y'all get these white bitches? How are they grown? <laughs> shit had me so mad, I had to take it, make sure my wife went like that. Hey, y'all ain't involved in no shit, is you? Cause I don't want that enough to be like that. She was like, I don't know them bitches. I said, oh, okay, shit. You know, my wife told me about T.R.M. Howard and shit like that with them. But anyway, look, this is the crazy part right here, you feel me? With y'all, the white woman, it, it was the thing of, we're gonna lynch this man now. Cause when he got locked up, they said they were gonna lynch him. And this was a real thing in Tulsa because they just lynched a white man the previous, previ- they just lynched a man a year previous before that, and it was a white man though. But I'm talking about the black man that was innocent. This man was about to be lynched. So other black men came down here in his defense. And this needs to be said, this is in 1921. They came down there, it was about a hundred of them. You hear me? On the white side, it was about a, more than a thousand over there. You feel me? So they had a big uh, scuffle at first. It was a standoff, you know what I mean? Like, hey man, y'all ain't gonna do nothing. So one of the cops was like, hey, y'all can leave. Not to mention, some of these people in the town were like, um, were not from the town either. These just neighboring towns that came together. But when the mob was out there, the, the officer, the judge, the main sheriff tried to tell the blacks to leave. When he was telling them to leave, one of the old white men came and tried to take the gun from one of the other guys. When he tried to take the gun, it was like a scene out of that cowboy movie. Everybody looked at him like, Bust his ass, goddamn it! Now it's a big shootout. Now, while the shootout is going on, the shootout lasted till midnight. This is a black. Sh- this is a shootout between whites in the town and blacks. By the end of the shootout, twelve people were dead. Ten white, two blacks. Skull was up. We was up on the skull. <laughs> Let it be known, we was up on the skull that night when it popped off. Then something crazy happened because some people in the town got deputized. You feel me? Meaning that they them that took positions of sheriffs or deputies right now and destroyed black towns everywhere, destroyed the whole town, killed black people. 
they, some of them end up going to internment camps. I didn't even know that there were internment camps, you know what I'm saying, for black people then, you know? But that's what happened, literally. Now the government is saying that the things that that happened to, you guys are not going to get any compensation for it. And they're telling the same women that they're not going to get any compensation for it. I don't know about y'all, but spiritually, this has to be something that is a testament of time. If those people are still alive and we're telling them that they're not going to get their money, then what are we saying about ourselves? Man, I think they should have their money because we got to have a conversation of right and wrong. Yeah, you can choose to give the money or choose not to give the money like you're doing with black people reparation during slavery. So you chose not to give the money. Now we're going to have a conversation between right or wrong. Is that right or is that wrong? No matter what color you are, you know it's right. We'll never look at people like that and not tell them what's right. But this is our section of Christory. I hope y'all enjoyed it because I did. Shout out to everybody watching this. And the Oklahoma Supreme Court tossed it out. I don't know what y'all doing. I think y'all need to rearrange what you're thinking and try to give out those reparations. But that's my time for this section of Christory. Back over to you, Money Bag and Bree. Thank you, Chris, for that Christory lesson. I don't know if that's what Do you want to No, I don't say that on the way back in. Oh, see, okay. <laughs> well, um, unfortunately, we have to send our condolences out to some major heavy hitters in the music industry. Of course, um, I don't know if you've seen, but Frankie Beverly passed. Listen, bro, I thought Death came in three. God, what you doing, God? You done, get, you done took my six nigga, man. I'm talking about six people? Shit. Because yeah. somebody passed today, too. Um, I forgot it. D's. No, don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not finna get me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and Jim, cause no, okay, you know, okay. Anyway, yeah, no, nah, but for real, a lot of people had done, like uh, been like five. Somebody did that. It has. It's been Frankie me. Beverly, Tito Jackson. These are legends. Yeah. James Earl Jones, and yeah. then of course ATL um, on Rich Homie Kwan. Rich Homie, baby. Yeah. God. Uh, rich, rich Homie's um. Pa uh, ceremony is today here in Atlanta. I, they opened it to the public. They've done also a viewing already. Um, beautiful. But oh, they had a candlelight. They having a candlelight today. No, they did the candlelight at McNair already. Oh, okay. But today is the actual. Um, oh, his funeral is today. It's too. today. God damn. Yeah, the funeral is actually today. So we just send in our love, condolences to, of course, the family of Rich Homie Kwan. He was a really big fan. I mean, not a fan, but like a friend of 85 oh, Hell yeah. Yeah, he's been on a lot of different shows here. 85. He got an interview. Um, what is it, 85? And, and he on a Netflix he special. Show, yeah, he performed, he opened, he closed the show out, didn't he? Yeah. Yep. So, Damn. we send love up to Rest him. Rest in peace to everybody, man. Everybody, yeah. Love Frankie on Beverly. Your people, man. You can get up out of here at any moment. Love your people. And speaking of love on your people, I really like how Frankie Beverly actually went on that farewell, farewell tour because it, since his passing, clips have been shown of, like, him being on stage, just receiving all the love from the crowd and him, like, crying mm -hmm. and just, like, gratitude. So it's dope that she Sometimes did get to know. see. Shut up. Sometimes Shut up. you know. <laughs> His tour was called a farewell tour, but I thought that was kind of creepy. I'm gonna be honest, man. Like if I get enough money, I just wanna pay a nigga. Like when I get a certain amount of age, let's say like 65, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just pay a nigga to just just snipe me just one day what? without me knowing. Not 65. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, I don't wanna know when you do it. Like you could do it the next day after I pay you. You could do it, <laughs> you could do it five years from now. I just don't wanna know. What? <laughs> I, think you I want still... you to do it right when I change my mind, but I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to call this nigga because I would. <laughs> <laughs> nigga sent a sniper bullet through the phone, through my head. <laughs> Right when I get a change of heart, I want that nigga to smoke me. I think you're still going to go to hell for that. It's all good, but at least I, you know, I ain't know. I don't want to, you know. Uh, uh, um, you're an idiot. Uh, you know what's crazy though? Um, Pee Wee Longway actually got arrested this week with, he was among 101 other people arrested in Columbus, Georgia during a gang and drug operation. First of all, I was like, why the fuck was Pee Wee in Columbus? Like, that's not the city. You know, I'm thinking he a rapper, but apparently he was tapped in with some other shit because they raided them, the, the, during the raid, the officers claimed they found 7.1 kilos of, shit. of fentanyl. Oh, damn. 50, right. Listen, this is a lot of shit. Damn, Pee Wee. He was yeah, heavy. 7.1 kilos of fentanyl. Pee Wee, what the hell you doing, Pee Wee? 57.21 <laughs> kilos of coke. Damn, Pee Wee. 55,000 
and 248 pounds of marijuana. Pay like, away. damn, we needed that weed on the street. 1.3 kilos of heroin. Pay I don't even know how you get that much heroin. Pay and pay. then um, they also had see, so like some shrooms and some other shit. But the Pay estimated. Away. He went with that Pee Wee. That nigga went had that shit the long way for long sure. Way. Long way. The estimated sum of the seizure is over $200 million on the streets. Damn. But of course, you know, they could be exaggerating their own numbers. Who knows? You know, this is all alleged. Why, 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 Pee Wee, why you got so much fit now, Pee Wee? That's a lie. What the fuck you doing? What the, what the, what the, what the fit fit? That's a, that's because how big is a kilo? Wait, is, I don't know. I ain't never seen no kilo of fentanyl, man. <laughs> he had seven of them. Well, that's what they said. That's what they said. This we don't know. This nigga has 7.1 kilograms yeah. of fentanyl. That's a lot. And this all took place in um, Muskego County. Any place named Muskego, you know your ass finna go down. You know like, some that's fentanyl out there. Country as fuck. That sound like that's where they making it at. Mm, but they announced the operation as... I don't understand the fentanyl epidemic. Like, do you want customers or not? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it either, because I thought it was deadly, right? So it was but like... But, you know, I've seen some shit with... You know, they got... Now where you can... Uh, they got this little thing diluted. where you can test it. Oh. Let's see if it got fentanyl in it. But then I seen a nigga do it anyway, because he's like, yeah, it ain't a lot of fentanyl in it. <laughs> and I mean, it ain't like it's 7.1 kilograms. Right. <laughs> That's <laughs> this nigga crazy. still did the shit, bro. Like, real talk. This shit crazy. Yeah. My, my pill day is over with, man. You can't. Pill over with pill, powder. I'm not saying that I did that. You are, okay. Pee wee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, any, anything that's. <laughs> Anything white, let's just say that. Anything... That's why your drugs gotta be organic, non-GMO. Like, you gotta smoke weed, you gotta do shrooms, like, stuff that comes from the earth, like, organic drugs. Or you can just not do drugs at all, kids okay. out there who follow the channel. <laughs> You're right, don't that watch. That look up to Brie. I mean, no. She's clearly a I fucking didn't... junkie. I'm not. I don't do You that. ever did acid? No. Oh, OK. Because I don't want to <laughs> fry off any. I don't do hallucinogenics. No, a shroom is a hallucinate. We're not going to talk about my okay. drug intake right, right here. Right, right. Anyways, we're going to keep it going. Um, Kendrick Lamar was named to be performing at the Super Bowl halftime show coming up this season. And, of course, you know the Super Bowl is going down in New Orleans. And a lot of people were upset, including the one he did take to social media and finally gave his own response about not being chosen as the halftime performer. Oh, he felt some type of way for real? Mm-hmm. Lil Wayne had said, um, I thought there was nothing better than that spot on, on that platform, on that stage in my city. So it hurt. It hurt a lot. And he also said he blames himself for not being mentally prepared for the letdown. That's real grown of you. But, you know, this is what I had heard. Now, you ain't heard it from me. But some people were saying that because Jay-Z and Wayne had beef, that's why he wasn't selected. Like, it was, like, an obvious, like, snub because, you know, Jay-Z is a part of the committee that selects, like, the music and entertainment committee of the NFL and the Super Bowl. So they said that was, like, a political fuck you. Bro, they should have had the cash money brothers in that motherfucker, man. They should have they should have had this smoke go up and then nigga out of nowhere, nigga see murder come out of that. I bitch. really they done free <laughs> see murder in that motherfucker, nigga. The city okay. on. Like, it would have been lit. Fuck the football game. No, nigga, for real. Out, nigga. No, for real. It would have been lit. It would have been lit. And I love Lil Wayne. That's actually one of my favorite rappers Hell of all yeah. time. I think that it would have been. I think they should have had Juvenile having the big they bitches back that ass up. It would have been Ooh. a whole second line. You know, he would have had like the whole band and everything. It would have been very new. They could have brought out Sissy Novi. Oh, my God. Yeah, that should have been lit. Is he dead? I don't know who the fuck that is. Who is that? Sissy Novi. Who is that? But I know Big Frida alive. We could have got Big Frida. For sure. Anyways, Pay I think that's lame, way. though. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't know who Big Freedy is? Big Freedy is a, a New Orleans legend, too. Wayne would have brought uh, him, her out. Uh -huh. Anyways, if, do you think that Jay-Z Jay did that? Because of that alleged beef in the past? I don't think that way. If he did, do you think that, that that's like, ha-ha, that's why I'm in power? Or is that lame? I don't think it was that. I don't think it was that personal. You don't think so? Nah, I don't feel like Jay-Z made the choice by his own. Kendrick Lamar, he is like right now. You know, Wayne right chilling, now. man. Wayne coasting. And I seen a bunch of clips of people showing Wayne performing, and I ain't gonna hold the shit look kind of boring. It's but still, it's fucking Wayne. I don't give a damn. It he could have came out there and did that shit sleep. Like I still would have been, you know, like, hell yeah, this shit lit.
But they should have did. They should have did the cash. They came out sweet. <laughs> they should have. Man, they should have bought fucking cash. Make y'all could have did so much with that. No limit so soldiers, yeah. nigga. Y'all could have. Oh, they could have had like that tank that they used to go through, cut they, through the on the field. Like no, okay. That was my childhood. Okay, the middle of the thing. Y'all got the bad in the world would have turned up out that bitch. Lit. What? Well, maybe Kendrick bring him out. They should have had. Listen. They could have had every nigga from goddamn New Orleans do a song got that bitch. You could have had Kevin Gates come out that morning. Not bro. Kevin Gates. Cab Money, No Limit Soldier, NBA Young Boy. <laughs> I'm talking about you could have had. Nah, it should have just been throwback. You 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 could have just kept. currency. No, now we now we going to see. <clears throat> okay, so um, other fans think that um, Kendrick earned his spot, like you said as well. So we'll see. I think it's gonna be a great show. If you ever seen a Kendrick show, his show is very like artistic and he has visuals. So I think it's gonna be lit. And the nigga like a he like a uh, what's that word? What was Pac uh, uh, activist? He be having messages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a message he behind him. He the only nigga I know white folks will pay there to come there and throw shots at them. <laughs> <laughs> the throw shot. He yeah, definitely throw gonna shot. throw some shots. That nigga was in the BET world like, they put us in chains. Right. <laughs> nigga had us awkward. We like, what the hell is y'all the white folks? <laughs> this nigga talking crazy. He was slaying at everybody and whoop. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Well, I'm gonna be watching regardless. Um, speaking of watching, I don't know if you've seen, but Shannon Sharp um, returned to ESPN for the first time since his accidental sex video got leaked. That's my Michelle. On um, Instagram put Live. That, put that dick in your mouth. Yeah, he was. Put that dick in your mouth. All the girls was oh. like, when I seen you this, his face, that mean taught me through it. Man, that, <laughs> listening to that shit didn't let me know how old I done got, bro. Because we ain't got too many things to say. Nah. <laughs> Like, you got one or two things, nigga, you sticking to that shit, nigga. And he let me know, I'm getting old, bro. Yeah. Nigga say, you knocking on 40, though? You know what, bro? You right. <laughs> you knocking on? I'm knocking you, on 40, uh, though, bro. But speaking of, do you feel like, uh, accidentally went nope. on Instagram live? Because nope. I don't either. Well, he need to be worried about that nigga that's talking about his ass. Uh, that talking about he, Y'all know who I'm talking about, though. His uh, style is coming out talking about he finna add a nigga out. He going on Tasha K. Ain't nothing never come out of good about going to sit down with that Tasha K, woman. you right. It's, so what the stylist said, that's why he did it to cover up, to get ahead of the rumors of the gay shit. It's like, I ain't gay. You just heard me fucking no, a bitch. No, yeah, we heard nah, you. We, we heard, ain't see a motherfucking well, we thing. We didn't know who If they can was look fucking, like women, they can sound like women. We don't know what they said. Yeah, we don't who know, people uh, was. Mm -hmm. We don't know, uh. But he, yeah, it's just, that's what he doing, trying to dispel. Okay, when two, two, two pair of balls in that room, man. Hopefully it was just, you know, yours. That's a lot of balls. That's Put that ass. dick in your mouth. Huh? He said that's my ass? He did? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I only say shit like that when I'm... Yeah, exactly. What? Okay, this is getting real freaky. Go um, ahead. I'm throwed off. Because you ain't gonna say it unless you in that place. <laughs> you ain't gonna be getting head and be like, ooh, that's some good pussy. Oh, I get what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? So wait, what he, what he said? You ain't gonna be fucking her in the pussy and be like, ooh, that head good. If he like, that's my ass. He was in some ass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That boy was doing 85 down Hershey Highway. Go Not ahead. Hershey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With the high beams on. Okay. Well, now I'm pretty sure next time we come back, that dude gonna be in there, have his interview, and we gonna talk about that, Shannon Sharp. No, for real, because if you're going on Tasha K, he about to tell it oh, all. Oh, it's a dub. Yeah, it's a wrap. Um, the 76th Primetime Emmy Awards was held at the L.A. Live Peacock Theater in Los Angeles, and Puerto Rican actress Lisa... What do you, what, what, what do you think a lesbian's uh, favorite R&B artist is? Hmm. Luther. SZA. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I was going. I like that. I like that. Um, yeah, the Emmys went down. Um, Lamar Morris won the Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Limited or anthology series or movie at the 2024 Emmy Awards. And Morris won for his role in the fifth season of Fargo, which also starred John Hamm and Je Jennifer Jason Lee. Okay, congratulations to those people. Hell yeah. Um, also, the t I don't know if you saw the 2024 VMAs. Uh, yes, I most definitely did not. 
What um, what's the name? Um, Megan Thee Stallion. She hosted it. <coughs> oh she, yeah, I watched her part. I seen Megan. Yeah. She hosted it. So yeah. which? Okay. Well, I seen. Well, when I Clips. clicked. Yeah. Yeah, I you seen. saw a parts of her. Mm-hmm. But she actually took home and had two wins for the night from Mamushi. Mamushi, that's that song. Sa, sa, sa. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, and BOA, and then Tyler won Best Afro Beats for Water, of course, and then she Lenny, five. What, like five? Huh? Or you like her music? Yeah, I like her music. She five. Okay, I beautiful like too. She is beautiful. Um, Lenny Kravitz won for Best Rock, Best Rock for Human. Okay, we got black people winning Best Rock. Okay. And SZA won Best R and B for Snooze. That's what's up. That's I'm my shit it. too. Mm-hmm. That was my shit, real yeah, hard when it came time. out. Yeah. Yeah, oh God. yeah, for real. Did y'all just talk about Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that shit hit. Okay. Um, so congratulations to them. And then Pharrell postponed something in the Water Festival. Um, it has been delayed again after being pushed back from April to October. It's being announced that the event will now take place in next April of 2025. And he took to X, which is Twitter, to address the postponement. He said, Dear Virginia, I love you all with my, all my heart. Nobody loves you more than I do. Virginia doesn't deserve, doesn't, I think it's supposed to be Virginia deserves better. Virginia, oh, Virginia doesn't deserve better. Virginia deserves the best. So I should just read it and not try to assume. Okay, so, so something in the water has to match that and it just isn't ready yet. That's why we as a team have decided that we must postpone this year's something in the water festival that was due to take place in October. So, um, it's unfortunate because a lot of people was upset because they bought tickets and then the very next day he postponed it. Well, shit, as long as they give him re- a refund, they straight. I um, <coughs> he, he ain't say nothing about no refund. That nigga gonna get a refund. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna see. Um, yeah, we gonna see and getting their money back. Donald Trump lost a lawsuit over using um, Eddie Grant's song "Electric Avenue" in a campaign ad. He also lost a lawsuit to um, singer Isaac Hayes and his family for the song "Hold On, I'm Coming Home." So he used these songs in his campaign ads, and of course, he didn't ask for permission because he Trump and he think he could just do what he want to do, child. So um, they came back and was like, "Hey, you owe us some coins." So I think um, Eddie Grant he got like three. Hundred thousand. Damn. Mm-hmm. And the source of the suit said it was a 40-second animated campaign, and that showed President Joe Biden on a railroad cart as a Trump Pence campaign cart passes the Biden cart. Damn. So it was like one of them politically jabby ads, ads, and they like, uh, uh-uh, you ain't get my permission. Um. So yeah, he get his money big. That's good. Speaking of getting their money back, you know who need to get their money back? Who that? Drewski. Okay, because um, what's her name? Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose said that that was, she took to social media to be like, first of all, and it was like, bitch, nobody asked She said asked she got you. that bread, didn't get no head and leave. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. And it's like, nobody asked you, but she said, and another thing, she started out the tweet, and another thing, I didn't, I never fucked that man. He paid for the PR, not the pussy. Drewski. And it's like, bitch, if he paid for the PR, you fuck it up the PR. Shut the fuck up. Like, Drewski. he can get a refund now. Yeah. I would ask for a refund. But that's the thing. You know, bad don't bitches. They, don't they got to sign an NDA or some shit like that? Like, you know, what's the point? Of, you're not supposed to tell nobody that. That's what I'm saying. You're supposed to be quiet. All right, let that man do lame shit in peace, man. You don't pay no bitch to goddamn. Come on, man. You more popular than her. What the fuck? I didn't think he she needed that kind of you. PR. But, you know, bad bitches elevate your image. Every you man really? know that. Yes. For real? Hey. Oh, that's why they keep the same hoes in rotation. You said it, not me. I'm just saying, that's probably why, because of uh, image. Well, yeah. yeah, and it's and because <clears> you <throat> niggas do shit for other niggas, really. Bro, get you a Janae Aiko. Get you one of them. <laughs> get you a Tiana Taylor, my boy. Get you something solid, man. Something yeah. solid, for sure. Um, yeah, but but yeah. you ain't going to never get them, because you know why? Because they're real women. They ain't PRs. They're not PRs. And you can't, you gotta have a real personality. Not real personality. I don't know him personally, but like you really have to date somebody for real. You can't just come at them throwing your money. That ain't. I wonder how much he paid. Why don't you tell us that? Mm. It's probably a a, a good penny because she one of them, like you said, industry bad bitches that that's up there. That only fuck with like niggas like the Migos and shit. So who knows? Anyway. And see, niggas sometimes be fuck- one look like they fucking with a bitch just because they liked who the last nigga she was fucking with. Cook what? Like, niggas be fanned out over the last nigga that the bitch was fucking with, so they want to fuck with the bitch just because she used to fuck with 
such and such. This is new information to me. It happens all the time. Like a bad bitch is like, okay, she was fucking with the Migos, but this nigga is such a fan of the Migos. Oh, I, I'm fucking with such and such that used to fuck with the Migos. It's like. And what does he get out of that? I, might I ask? I don't know. It's some gay shit. It's, okay. Yeah, it's low. It is to me. I think it really is. But that's what niggas be doing. Oh, I ain't know that. They be wanting to be fans. I know women move like that. Women, you know, y'all oh, competitive no, for real. These... Y'all see a nigga with. You know how many women that didn't want to fuck you, but then you got a girlfriend. And exactly. Then now she wanna fuck and you. that's why bad bitches elevate your image. Them bitches is not trying to <clears> fuck <throat> with you. It's, it's the same. It go both ways. Is what I'm saying. It go both ways. Just like women do it, men do it too. Yeah, but if you a nigga with money, you ain't gotta worry about that. You ain't gotta worry about no image. And you got your own. You pay for the pussy. <laughs> I would have paid for the pussy if I paid for the PR. For the PR? Yeah, I'd have paid for a BJ. For a BJ? Yeah, two different letters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the going rates of that are, but it might have been cheaper than the PR. You feel me? Because the PR lasted a couple, like a month or two. Yeah. They was all hugged up. Juicy, that's crazy. She was making him fake-ass food and shit. Yeah. Little yeah. macaroni and cheese out the box. That's wild, bro. Yeah. I don't know. But um, anyways, speaking of wild shit. You should have went and got somebody like Mary J. Blige or something, nigga. What? Yeah, somebody who like up there, up there. Like yeah. auntie said it's yeah, like, like Taraji B. Henson or something. But you're gonna have to deal with them for real. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're real women. You can't come at them with your money. It's a difference. Um, I don't know, this is some wild shit, but Princess Love called out Ray J for gaslighting their children at the domestic altercation. So allegedly, um, he allegedly put or they got into a domestic dispute. Okay. Ray J and, and Princess. And afterwards, Ray J took to social media to release the audio of him speaking to his children after the incident. And he's basically heard saying to the kids, like, Daddy didn't do anything, right? Oh, damn. Nobody's, everybody's okay, right? Daddy didn't we do anything wrong. Do we have a clip for that? Let's take a listen. And we ain't did no clips the whole time. My bad. We're almost done. Yeah, but damn. Mm-hmm. Because he was gone for something else? So. No, 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 we just had an argument. And he did this okay. himself. This is why. So I wanted to get out of hand, and I wanted to make sure it's recorded and seen so we can work all super safe. Just because somebody has a disagreement doesn't mean anything. You know? Um, calling the police over a disagreement is loud. And I'm not with that. Okay? That's... I love you. Your mom loves you. Did you check on your mom? Mm -hmm. Go check on her one more time. Tell her you're going with that now. Well, we'll do it one more time and tell her you're going with that now. You have to one more time so she knows you're going with me, okay? That's the right thing to do. Huh? We're just going. Yeah, this kind of seems like, even if nothing took place in that exact moment, it seems like the children have witnessed too much and they may, it may have been physical, it may have just been verbal, like he's saying, but they, as the children, felt highly unsafe that they called the police. Oh, the children called the police? That's what it sounded like. He was talking to the kid, and he was like, we this don't just call the police. This made fool-ass tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, it I sounded like... I fuck with Ray it, J. I ain't got nothing bad to say about it, bro. That's one of the funniest things on earth. Off, I ain't saying nothing bad. It, does, it sound like it done got too like far. Sound like he's covering his footsteps. That's good. It's, you know, make sure you in the clip. Do what you gotta do to make sure you're in the clip. Thanks. I think that's ridiculous. So let's just go to Justin. Well, we're goddamn ridiculous. We're goddamn ridiculous. Appreciate that bag and brief. On today's episode of We're Goddamn Ridiculous, we are in the south side of Atlanta where a customer took his ass to Burger King and thought having it your way means he can throw a cup of bleach in a young lady's face at the goddamn drive thru. And. <laughs> When I first heard the story, I just knew it was a racist old white man, but when she gave me the description that the motherfucker had a beard and dreads, you know what, just listen for yourself. 
In the six months Andrea Alexander has been working at this Union City Burger King, she's encountered a few unhappy customers. They want to speak to a manager or they just tell us that we need to do better and they just usually drive off, but this customer didn't even seem mad. But Tuesday she was working the drive through Another employee took the customer's order. Andrea's job was to collect his money and deliver the food. He pulled up. I said, hey, how are you? Your total is. I told him what his total was. He didn't say anything to me at all. When I spoke to him, he didn't say anything back. Um, but I didn't think it was anything weird because usually customers, know, they don't speak back when it's like that late at night. People are tired. But it was just seconds later, she was covered in liquid. I closed my eyes. You know you got to be a dirty son bitch to pull up to a goddamn drive through and throw a cup of bleach on anybody, let alone a young lady, trying to earn a goddamn wage. So they can figure out not just who, but why this happened. From what we understand right now, there was nothing that prompted this customer to do what he did to the young lady. Andrea's mother also anxious to find the suspect. I cannot wrap my brain around, like, what, what possess you to want to so bleaching a child for anybody's face. You got damn right, anybody. Did you have to say that? Anybody damn face. Over. It was just a very traumatizing experience. I'll tell you what. No, I'll say what I got to say. Channel 2's no, Candace McCallum joining us live again from damn man, Because I'm telling you one thing, it's taking Burger King a little too long with that goddamn surveillance. I bet if some bitch came in there and robbed y'all for that little ass goddamn money you had in the cash register, you have his ass all over the fucking loose. <laughs> Find that some bitch with the beard and the dress who threw that goddamn... And I know it, it narrows it down a bit uh, on the south side of Atlanta with beards and dread. But look, again, uh, if somebody came in there and robbed them for that little ass money they had in the cash register, you'll have the, the surveillance all over the goddamn news by now. And young lady, if you were watching this... I I don't know if you heard from a lawyer yet, and I, I'm not one to give legal advice, but I've sued him some bitch a time or two. So uh, Burger King is liable for that shit because they should have had proper security around. So uh, you need to be suing they ass. You ain't got to shake salt on another fucking fry, take another goddamn <laughs> order, serve another goddamn chicken fry or whopper, baby, because you will be taken care of for life. If you need any more information, you can DM me you know, on, at Comedian Justin White here on Instagram. I got just a little more legal advice for you because, like, again, I'm not a lawyer, but I sued a bitch or two. Um, uh, again, and you, son of a bitch, they ain't found you yet, but I hope when they find your, your stupid ass that they tie your ass down to a chair and let her douse some bleach in your motherfucker. Matter of fact, heat the goddamn bleach up in the, in, with the same goddamn machine they heat them goddamn that grease up for the fry. Douse that shit on his ass and goddamn see how you like it, you ugly son of a bitch. That has been my episode of a goddamn dickless for the day, you punk bitch. I don't like that motherfucker now, goddamn bitch. I hate him for real. I don't even know who he is. I hope something awful happened to him. Don't throw some bleach on the man. Well, thank you, Justin, for that goddamn ridiculous news. You know what else is ridiculous? What's that? Um, this Diddy situation is getting worse Ooh. and worse. Yeah, Diddy actually turned himself in. Bitch, you going to jail. <laughs> he is in jail, and they do not feel like they want to, um, they don't want to release him out on bail until his trial or sentencing. They want to keep him in custody, so we don't know how that story is still developing. Of course, we'll keep you updated. But they also said that when he was um, indicted and, what what is it called, like seized when you turn stuff, they found a thousand bottles of baby oil. Ooh, like the party up. In this man's <laughs> New York home. In the New York home, a thou in just the New York home. So ain't no tell how much was in New in LA and Miami. But was a that a thousand, baby oil endorsement? How do you even buy that many bottles of baby oil? Do you buy them by the case? Like a thousand bottles of baby oil? That's crazy. That nigga was having a slip and slide, that bitch. They just running down the That's hallway. That's some freaky shit, bro. That's wild. Maybe I need to tap into the baby oil world. Oil a bitch down, you know what I'm saying? Get all nice and shiny. Maybe he like massages or something, who knows? Yep, right, right. I don't know. But um, unfortunately, um, this Ohio police officer, he pled not guilty mm. to murdering a pregnant woman. Um, even though body cam video of the fatal shooting showed police approaching Takaya Young, who was 21 in her car, and attempting to stop her from driving away so they could question her about allegedly shoplifting. In the video, Young attempts to drive away as the driver, as the officer, fires the fatal shots through the window mm. as he commands her to exit the car. I feel like, why you just couldn't shoot at the tires? Right, Like, bro. they they just or why be... you couldn't just let her drive off? Right. Y'all be so ready to kill some goddamn... Over body. some shit that don't even belong to you. Uh, anyways, a 29-year-old officer has been charged with four counts of murder, two counts of involuntary Four manslaughter. counts of murder? Who the fuck?
Damn. Well, she was pregnant, so I'm assuming oh, one yeah, of her damn. and one other child, and then two counts of involuntary... Well, that, that yeah. kind of goes with the two counts of involuntary manslaughter and four counts of a felonious assault. I don't know. Where are the... You're right. Where are the four counts Yeah, where, where the four counts about to come in at? I don't know. But his lawyers claimed um, he fired in self-defense. She was pregnant you with were not, She was not trying to harm you. She was trying to get away, so... That's, how, that's what they do. I done seen some white boy jump in front of the car and be like, hey, you tried to hit me. Right, nigga, no, well, nigga, you, to get the you fuck got it. You was in the way, yeah, right. Yeah, ridiculous. Um, anyways, Trump is um, he was being shot out, he shot at again. Again? He, yeah, he's safe though after an apparent assassination attempt at his Florida golf club. It's like this nigga must be in the game, cause I ain't never seen no you know that why? many people you know trying why to this kill. This nigga ain't got hit yet. Why? Cause it's Biden the one shooting at him. <laughs> he's shaking. <laughs> Biden been trying to kill that nigga. For a long time, he keep missing. That's why he shot his ear. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch move. <laughs> well, uh, the Secret Service reports that no shots were fired by the suspect who fled after the shots were fired at him. A backpack of an AK-47 rifle and a GoPro camera were found at the scene. He wanted to scene. kill this nigga and record it. Mm-hmm. 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 And then right after that, the racist um, Elon Musk wrote on Twitter and then deleted it, of course, because you know he own X. But he po well, anybody can tweet and delete. But he posted saying, like, I don't know why everybody keep, you know, trying to kill Trump. Ain't nobody tried to kill Biden or Vice President Kamala Harris. And he's like, why are you suggesting that on social media? Um, anyways, his remark was immediately... He's like, you know, it's two parties. Damn. Right. <laughs> There's enough bullets to go around. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. He tried to claim that it was a joke, but of course, uh, it drew a lot of outrage on Twitter. Well, he rich anyway, so. He don't give a fuck. fuck. Yeah, he don't. He don't. He gonna say what the fuck he wanna say, like he said, on his platform, and then delete it and log off. Um, <laughs> student arrested. Uh, speaking of guns, it's been crazy. This student was arrested for bringing a gun to Gwinnett County School, middle school, at that. Tweaking. Tweaking in middle school. The student who has not yet been identified will be facing criminal charges through juvenile court. It's unclear what exact charges he'll be facing, but it happened at Duluth Middle School, which is really not that far. You know, that's right outside the city. And the student brought a 9 millimeter pistol to school. I don't know what's going on with these kids <coughs> and these school students, but... How y'all guns? Why do y'all kids know where they where the guns at? I keep mine out. Oh, okay. Just so you know, it ain't no secret. It's a mind thing. It's reversed. Because when I found my dad a gun, I had to find it. You see what I'm saying? Um, if I would have seen it, there would have been nothing to find. Yeah, like your mama, but black mamas do that too. Like, look, this my gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put, and if I, I ever catch your ass playing with it, I'm going to beat you for all the news. I don't do that. I fucking, I let my kids see me shoot that shit outside. Like, on like <laughs> New Year's or something, I just go outside and be like, bum, 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 bum. You don't want to play with no shit like that. And I said it right there, and I'll be like, hey, I'm going to go to the store. That gun will be right there when I come back. <laughs> I swear to God. You, got, you, you, you can't hide it from them. Lock it up. Make sure it's safe. Because if they're going to find it, then that's where you fucked up at. So, then they go playing with it. Now the they want to take it to school. This is what we don't. This is what we fail to realize. Them white folk teaching their kids how to handle guns while we at home. Like, no, for that's sure. Bad. No, my mama taught me uh, how to, my mama taught me how to shoot how, when I was little, too. I, guess what? If anything happened and I can't save myself, my right. son 14, I need you to know how you know to how shoot to use this it. motherfucker. But she also educated me. She educated me, but she also let me know don't be playing with this right. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. It's not nothing that you pick yeah, you up show and... Them. You yeah. man. That'll take all that little assumption out, man. Right. man hey, I just handed my little cousin to AR the other day. She, his mom was like, yeah, he at school. He he got down. He taking pictures with guns and all this shit. Hey, there you go, cuz. There you go. See, ain't nothing special about it. This... I just want to say, this is all hypothetical anyway, because Moneybag don't own no guns. Shit me. You're a felon. You ain't got, I don't give a damn. You ain't Shut got a lot of me. I got plenty of guns. I'm like, goddamn, I'm telling you. I'm like, goddamn, major pain. I just hang upside down at the house, break the gun down, put it back together. Put it, <laughs> before my nose start bleeding. <laughs> I'm very gun savvy. Police you. call that. I, I don't give a damn. I keep my shit. That's right outside the city. Okay. So, yeah, educate your kids. Mm -hmm. Like Money Bad said. Anyways, let's take it to the streets with Blake the Great. Blake the Great. sir. All right, now ask you a question. No questions? All right, get your ass out of here then. Get your ass out of here. Hey, once again, Blake the Great, man, we live right here at the City Hall of Atlanta. They done brought a nigga to the city. 
What y'all talking about? Man, come on, man. Oh, don't, don't. oh I done made y'all leave. Oh, I made him leave for the day. Today we looking for the mayor, man. Hey, hey, Drake Dickens in here. What floor we on? The whole house? Nigga, what floor we on, nigga? Oh, all right. Yes, like I was saying, today we up here at City Hall, we looking for the mayor, trying to figure out where the weed at. How you doing today, man? All right, you gonna let us through? We good? Okay, we good, we good, we good. What's up, OG, you all right? You good? Just like you, how long you been an officer? Uh, long time. Long time? Oh, you know what Andre Dickens' office is? Yes, I know some marijuana smell. Oh, it's not coming from me, it's coming from you. That's oh, oh, oh. None of it. Anybody been smoking around me? No. no, sir, ain't nobody been smoking. Do you know what floor Andre Dickens Second is? Second floor. Second floor, thank you so much, sir. Hi. How you doing today, buddy? Good, how are you? All right, all right. Yeah, like I said, give me my cord, nigga. Hey, baby, how you doing? You so beautiful. All right. Like I said, Blake the Great Trap News, we coming in here. We taking over City Hall today. As you can see, we are in Atlanta City Hall. We looking for Andre Dickens. What's up, OG? You done got fresh, ain't you? What's your name, OG? You Andre Dickens? <laughs> Who you with? Call me Kenny, bro. I'll be out the way. What you do, Mr. Kenny? I'm a recruiter here for the city of Atlanta. Oh, this is crazy. You hire people? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so what we do, we trap news. You did what I'm saying? Channel 85. Listen, are y'all looking for people to hire right now? Yeah. Tell people where to go to in Atlanta, man, because I'm yeah. telling you, and tell them to put me as a reference, put Blake as a reference on the application, they're going to get hired ASAP. Put Blake on the application, bro. What you're going to do is go to Google, type in City of Atlanta, careers, click the first link. It's going to be Oracle. Find all the opportunities that you want, apply. My name is Kenneth Roberts, bro. Send me an email. I got you. You want those? Uh, hell yeah, I want these, bro. Only had one wing. You only yeah. had one wing? Yeah, sir. Appreciate it, twin. Yeah, hey, yeah, sir. Hey, what's your name again? I'm Kenny. Kenny what? Kenny Roberts. You gonna give people a job for real? Yeah, that. All right, now he ain't lying now. This is what we do now. Bro, this is what I do, bro. my word, bro. Yeah, sir. Kenny Look. Roberts. City of Atlanta. Type in City of Atlanta Careers. Once you see the first link, it's Oracle. Click on that link. Look at the jobs we got. Bro, I can't wait. And he just hit me up. I got y'all. All right, bet. Say no more. Yes, sir. All right. Love, brother. Y'all have a good one. All right. Now we're going to the customer service desk. How you doing, beautiful? Man, we're not trying to get you on camera. Turn the cameras off. Turn, turn the cameras off. Shh, turn the cameras off. Excuse me, ma'am. My name is Blake the Great. I'm here with Channel 85 Trap News. That light is not red. Listen, I'm here. I'm looking for the mayor's office. Could you just point yeah. me to the second floor, please? The second floor. I just need to go, I need to see the mayor, ma'am. I don't care if they close or not. I can open up. Joe. 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 Where the mayor's office is, could, could you point me to the mayor's office, Joe, man? Yeah, What's up, my boy? You all right? You got me on field, baby. Nigga, you ain't the mayor. I'm the mayor, baby. Nigga, nigga. I'm the, brother, I'm not the ninja. I'm oh, the brother. You right, brother. You right, brother. I hey. fuck with you. I, I, I can't, yeah, I can't. On that one. What's your name, OG? Rufus Brown, man, Los Angeles, California. Man, what you doing Born up here? Race. I'm a network engineer, man. I don't, I don't mean to tell you nah, that. Nah, nah, you had your hand around my back, bro. So on your ass when you were rubbing Nigga, you was on my oh, back. I was you like a I, brother, you I, know I, what I mean? I, I ain't know you were going down. You know what I so mean? Nah, no yeah, I'm a real man, you I, know what I mean? I know what you mean. You hey, God saying? bless his brother with his gold mic, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, man, I appreciate it. Wait, brother, hold on, wait, man. Find new park, K-side, new, 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 till the day I die. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Hey, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Man, we got one question for you right here. Oh, you hugging me now? Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I'm hugging you, baby. I'm hugging you. Listen, listen. We just got one question. Everybody in the whole world want to know, man. What the fuck made you wear these sandals out today? My feet. Ain't they pretty? Ah! Have a good one, Rufus Brown. What's up, officer? You all right? Hey, how I get to the mayor's office, man? You know you gotta make a report. I already got a report. See, I already got an appointment with him and all that, man. That shit don't. Huh? Bro, the appointment is day for 4 30. Hey, man, here I come. I'm finna come see your little egg lad. Come on, man. Get them fucking mayor, man. Get them fucking mayor, man. Who we? Blake the Great, man. Trap news take over. Where they go? Oh, they gone. 
Oh, hey, hey, this the major flow. I'm telling you, they said the second flow. This the major flow. All right, let's go. We got to go find this nigga. Did y'all know? I'm going to give y'all a fact right now. Did y'all know that on October 1st, uh, all the smoke shops, gas stations, wherever you get your CBD from, they won't be able to sell flour no more. Did y'all know that? See what I'm saying? I'm putting you down right now. Woo! Office of the mayor. What they say? Nigga, we here. We made it, nigga. Hold on, let me eat a wing on this fuck, nigga. Not new. We ain't never had no fuck around with Andre Dickens, man. God damn, I fuck with Andre Dickens. But he potholes crazy. Andre! It's me, Blake the Great, baby. Trap new. I need to talk to you. Andre! Come on now, man. I fuck with you, man. Since you been a goddamn million now, we done went down to $20.35. Andre! Andre! Oh, they ain't fucking with me. Do what they gonna do. Y'all see how they do a black man in here trying to do make a change? Ma'am, I'm a black. Ma'am, I'm a black man out here trying to make a change. You just gonna ignore me like this, ma'am? Come on, baby. God damn. You know what? I'm asleep out here. Where the city council, here the city council office at? What are you doing today? All right, now, I love that smile. Now, I know y'all had a good day at the office. Hey, look, hey, look. Can y'all call the mayor office and tell them to let Trap News in, please? You ain't got that number. Oh, come on now. All right. All right. All right. Man, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is this? Oh, that's Martin King. Okay. I ain't no Rosa Park had no mustache. See what I'm saying? They trying to turn into a man, bro. God damn, bro. Why y'all trying to turn Rosa Parks into a man? Blake the Great Trap News. We find out everything. Won't let us in the mayor office, man. He hide, he running, but we fuck with you, Andre Dickens, baby. I love you, but you need to fix these motherfucking potholes out here. I'm telling you, people that work down here at the city hall. Nah, there ain't nobody from the city house. Alex Wine. Doug Shipman. Julian Bunn. Okay, I fuck with him. He a little blacker than that, though, in person. You know what I'm saying? He a little blacker than that. Who the fuck is these niggas? Man, see, that's why y'all need to vote me vice president of your neighborhood, Blake the Great. I'm going to come get the news, make sure everything good. I'm going to make sure everything good in your hood, man. You did what I'm saying? Gotta talk to everybody. Let's get this thing. There were some people right above us on this floor. Who? They, they, they was watching us on the third floor. Okay, so we need to go out there? If you want to. We're going to the third floor then. Okay, we got the department of building right here. Hey, 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 how you doing, man? How you doing today, sir? My name is Blake the Great. We're live right here on Channel 85 with Trap News. We're here to talk about the Department of Building. What's your name, sir? My name is Dominic. Your name is what? Dominic. Okay, sir. Uh, what do you actually do here? What is your actual job? Um, and for an express right now, I intake uh, anybody that comes up, one like a fence permit, interior renovation. Um, I tell them if they have all their plans. I help them route the plans, get the fees paid, tell the plan reviewers, say, hey, we have this permit here at this address. Get me the plans. If everything's approved, we can issue the permit. Okay, we got you right there. What's your name again? Dominic. Dominic, hold your hands out. Hey, man, I see you don't have a ring, Dominic. I want you to look right there at the camera and tell that nice young lady, Susan, why she should choose you. What's up, nigga? Uh, well, I already have a girlfriend, so while I don't have a ring, I am in a relationship. Oh, oh you got a girlfriend? Hey, beautiful black queen, I love you now. You look like... They got a picture of you down there on the second floor. You know that, right? Uh. Uh, what's your name? What, 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 what are we doing? Okay, this is Channel 85 right here, Trap News, and we are live. We're just coming around. We're getting the everyday workers, and we're just in the building section, and we're just trying to figure out how we can get some weed. Well, let me get my director to come out and talk to you, or you can go to the 
I already went to the mayor's office. The mayor's scared. Hey, could you call the mayor real quick for me, Dominic? Okay. Hey, 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 what's up, buddy? We got the road crew right here. What's your name? What's your name? What's up, man, Paul? What's up? What's up? How you doing, baby? You all right? I'm good. All right, now, if I went there and had that camera in my hand, I would say hello to you. What's up, my boy? You all right? I don't know everything. Man, go ahead and shout somebody out right now, man. Channel 85 Trap News, man. Tell somebody why they should fuck with you. Because um, I'm the best in the city, so get at your boy HVAC. You know? hey, anything y'all want to say to y'all boss, man, bro? Or anybody who don't fuck y'all over said right, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nah. So he this is right here. Hey, look, man. He good. He good? He good. He good. He good. All right. Hey, my man. Forrest Gump. What, what's that name? Hey, hey, why y'all let me off right here? <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. They don't let me off. Come on, I got to get on the elevator with you, officer. Come on, officer. Oh, oh, for real? Okay. On the balcony, you can, but not in the building office or zoning or okay. office. Don't go in the office. Don't go in the office. And the building closes at five. Man, we trying. That's why we here to see the mayor. Well, you gotta have an appointment. But you come if fucking you with us, bro. Through. We heard you already at the front if desk, bro. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. Go home, bro. Three one one. Man, call these nuts, nigga. Call important. Call these nuts and get an appointment. How you doing, man? Blake the Great Trap News. I had to trump him off for the ancestors because, hey, it's a black lady up there. It's supposed to be Rosa Parks, but it looked like a man. You know what I mean? Put out the city hall, man. <laughs> While we got put out, we had a good ass time. I don't know if I tripped out or not, but I had a good ass time. How you doing, beautiful? You want to have lunch? You want to have a picnic? Let's have a picnic. You good? Oh, you ride a, oh, you ride a bike? What kind of bike is that? Come on, you guys. Really want you don't want to be on camera? It's it's okay. All right now. Have a good one. Hey man, Blake the Great Man, Trap News, man. We sending it back over back to Money Bag and Free. Thank you, Blake. Out there on the streets. Um, can you not we all Yep, 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 yep. All right, well, um, and good news, you know, we want to end up with some great news. This woman was oh wait. And good news, why are you smoking that pipe? You all in my ear with sound like a, a fucking gnat. <laughs> Nigga sizzling in there. <laughs> sound like a fajita plate in this bitch. <laughs> but now, Somebody that brought some skewers out this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck up. Anyways, uh, a group of black supporters, they pulled up and helped save a black, an Atlanta's black woman-owned business. The owner of Atlanta's The Sister Shop took to social media to talk about how her struggles with her shop um, and her store was how it's located in Atlantic Station. And she was, like, struggling to pay the bills and keep the lights on and everything like that. So the community took action thanks to two entrepreneurs on social media and influencers who had a flash mob of supporters. They showed up to purchase items and make donations to help the store owner remain open. I seen a nigga the other day on Instagram. Somebody said, yeah, black-owned business. He said, don't call it that. That's like, that's like taking the value away from it. It's not a black-owned business. It's a business. It's a business. That's real okay. shit. That was a word. That, okay. That was a word. So maybe she should take that word. Well, I don't know if that's going to work with her marketing because her store is called The Sister Shop. So we know <laughs> who's shopping there, okay? Could be and a I don't got no problem with it. I'm going to pull up a shop. The Sister Shop as well. Yeah, like you, you got a shop called The Brothers Basement. <laughs> <laughs> Still a business. Still a business. It's just a regular business. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's good news. And speaking of good news, too, um, there were announced to be several black athletes that have officially reached billionaire status. Um, of course, we got Michael Jordan, um, Tiger Woods, of course, Magic Johnson. Damn. We knew that. LeBron James as well. So shout out to them for getting that bag. For being athletes, not just black athletes. Uh, okay, billionaire athletes. Billionaire athletes. And that. Um, uh, we got to give a huge shout out to our very own DC Young Fly as he joined Chris Tucker at the Black Boy Joy at the golf tournament. They had like a really cute moment on social media. I saw. Um, a lot of people were saying that they want to see them play like a father son. They need to. That man. would be good, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, what if it was like, hit me out, Ice Cube, and don't take it without me being a part. Friday. Friday, but it's like they kids. You feel me? Like Smokey and Flyby, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Seems That's his daddy. Forced. No, it's like they daddy. Yeah. 
I, th- I feel like Ice Cube can make it work with, with I don't, but you know, uh, um, what's his name oh. say he ain't never doing it again? Uh, Chris, Chris Tucker, Tucker yeah. said he was never acting or just he said on he, Friday? No, he ain't, he ain't, I don't think he said he never doing Friday again. That sounds like somebody went funny fun with the money. I don't know. But um, also, speaking of stuff to watch, you should check out Fight Night starring Kevin Hart, Samuel L. Jackson, Terrence Howard, Taraji P. Henson, Teresa Topnotch, Halle Bailey, and Don Cheadle. And our very own motherfucking Nav, Nav Green. Green in that bitch. Fuck y'all talking about. Hell yeah. And you know what's really cool that I didn't even know? So you know my family on the flame, right? My uncle said he was alive when that actually took place. Like the, the true story that it's based on. Oh, that shit based Fight, on true story? It's based on the true Sorry, he said he knows the man named Chicken Man. He knows Chicken Man? He knows Chicken I'm Man. I'm talking about Chicken Man down there on... Chicken Man that Kevin Hart played in Fight Night. So go ahead and watch that because it Big is... Big shout out, Chicken Man. Historical. Chicken George. Chicken, ah. Not Chicken George, Chicken Man. Oh, okay. Um, Do you know who Chicken George is? That's off of group. Okay, then. Now you wait. You I, wait. Oh, hey, you might black. Be I got my <laughs> black card, nigga. Yeah, okay, anyways. <laughs> you might be a little something now. Might be a left side. I told you, I was baked in blackness. Okay. Okay? I'm a black woman. Through and through. Oh. Um, and also, you got a shot, Wallow. You know, he's a fan of uh, a friend. I keep saying fan. I keep trying to say friend. He's a friend of ours, and his new book, um, Armed with Good Intentions, just dropped. Yeah, so. I'm going to get that. I like that title. I think it, yeah. it is going to be really positive and motivating. Um, of course, if you're on the app, make sure you watch 85 South Show live in Newark, New Jersey. I heard that show was lit. Sonny said it was lit. Yeah. You, oh, yeah, hell yeah. The new, new word. So I'm going to go back and watch it because I wasn't there. So I'm going to pull up, and, uh, I mean, I'm going to, you know, pull up the app. Get your eight, $85, I mean, eighty eight fifty worth. Yeah. While you watching Trap News, you know, go ahead, watch your show. Yep, yep, Run One Gaming. Run yeah, we just dropped the first episode. Y'all tap into that. Just dropped the first episode. Also, um, the live shows. Make sure you're watching that. And if you want to pull up in live and, you know, and be in the atmosphere, you can pull up and see Poor Soul this Saturday in Atlanta. It's going down. You can grab your tickets. Oh, they got a show this Saturday? This Saturday. What? At um, City Winery. Oh, damn show do it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull up to that as well. Make sure you grab your tickets at 85southshow.com. Um, and then pull up. If you in Atlanta, you know Revolt World is going down this weekend. I will be moderating a panel at Revolt World called The Business of Beauty. If y'all need any male models, let me know. My daddy trying to goddamn do his thing. Mm, it's okay. I think we're going to pass on the ashy knees. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, make sure you just, you know, subscribe to the app, Channel 85, watching us on everything. Oh, and, and of course, you can pull up and see Carlos Miller live on tour as well on 85southshow.com. So, yeah, 85southshow.com for the tickets, Channel 85 for the app. Stay tuned, Trap News. Trap News, Trap News. Trap news. news. Fuck, nigga, Trap News. And no. we appreciate y'all fucking with the intro and the outro. We're going to drop it on iTunes, and mm-hmm. we're going to run it up. Mm-hmm. Like, we can go on tour, mm-hmm. twin. You feel me? And then... Man, we I most definitely me. cannot. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for the news tonight. Uh, for Trap News, I'm bringing that straight from the end. And this your boy, Moneybag Mafia. Y'all niggas, quit getting on social media showing them choppers, bro. The feds watching. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trap, 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 trap